Just to revisit this important subject of the Water Services Bill and the issue of septic tanks and water treatment services. Due to the inaction of the previous of previous governments, and I accept that other governments, uh, other parties have been culpable while they were in government on the EU directive, we are now we are now in a situation where the state could face for, uh, 40 million fine in 2015 and 2.7 million daily fines thereafter unless action is taken. So this is another fine mess that the Tweedledum Tweedledee type politics has got us into. We understand that problem and the need to comply with the EU directive, but the difference is that we wouldn't punish ordinary householders. We are fully, fully engaged in the debates both here in the Dáil and in the Shannon, and in fact we tabled 47 separate amendments. The focus of these amendments have been to include local authorities in any reference to wastewater services. So the focus of the bill is not solely on domestic household use. Uh, we attempted to reduce and remove costs to the householder by ensuring that any works that had to be done on septic tanks would be funded through uh, an income-related grant scheme by the Department of the Environment. The scheme must cover both social welfare recipients and low-income households where people are employed or involved in agriculture or other activities. And the inspection of septic tanks would be done by local authority officials. Uh, we also attempted to amend the legislation to ensure that those who fail to pay the fine would have the optimum opportunity to comply without facing the threat of criminal sanction to avoid unnecessarily criminalising rural people. And while I'm glad to say that the Minister has agreed to take some of these on board, the response must be put down in the bill in words. We look forward to seeing the redraft of the bill before it goes to committee stage. Commitments, commitments uh, must be made in the bill to ensure that rural householders are not financially penalised for upgrading or repairing septic tanks. A more reasonable approach other than what is outlined in the current draft is what's needed. Other important issues that need to be dealt with in more detail include an inability to pay clause and waivers for low-income households. The biggest omission is the lack of detail in the bill of what exactly is being inspected. Is it a septic tank? Is it effluent? Is it, is it uh, soil samples? Or all three? Um, Section 70G just mentions subsoil. And what are the standards? What are the standards? The Minister has yet to respond to those reasonable concerns. If a septic tank was installed in the 1960s or 70s, what standard is it measured against? If a septic tank was installed in 2011, does a different standard apply? Because obviously it's more high spec now. Or if, as the Minister said, if a septic tank was installed in the 60s or 70s, once they're working, they're okay. Now, there's huge questions around that. I mean, the, the, obviously the quality of water coming out of a, a treatment system that was installed in the 1960s is going to be very different from one that's installed, one that's coming out of a system, a high-tech system, that was installed in, in the last year or two. And has the Minister got the agreement of the EU on this? What we need is an outline of the standards by which domestic wastewater treatment systems will be measured. This detail must be in the bill, otherwise we are issuing the government with a blank cheque. And it's not good enough for the Minister to simply, I don't want him to dismiss our concerns on this. We demand the, the, uh, detailed answers in relation to that before we can, can be expected to vote on any bill. And I think that's only fair and proper. What is proposed by the bill is literally an army of inspectors. And I've outlined our concerns about this many times. There, there are technical staff in local authorities now who are not exactly run off their feet because there's very, new cap very little new capital works going on. Uh, technicians uh, and engineers, but what's proposed in the bill is uh, an army of inspectors having paid a 1,000 euro registration fee, trooping around the country inspecting tanks uh, while the local authorities are reducing staff or making staff redundant. If inspections need to be done, then let, co then let council staff carry them out. Councils have a huge bank of information already built up on septic tanks and drearies. And then if it's found that work does need to be carried out to improve or upgrade septic tanks, then let's ensure that an income-related grant schemes are available from central government and the EU to enable households to comply with what is an EU directive. Sinn Féin believe that the government should explore all existing funding options that are currently used for structural, structural development, including Interreg and the ERDF fund. An income-related grant scheme must be put in place to insist on the upgrading, and this in turn would 
as Fine Gael said before the election, would in turn act as a stimulus to the ailing uh, current local economies that are ailing and that are struggling and would assist in job creation in many rural areas. The bill in its present form it, uh, will be a huge imposition on rural communities and particularly on low income households in those. So just in conclusion, Kyung Torla, the bill, the bill is heavy on sanctions and does set out provision for up to €5,000 in fines for households. Um, so it explains you know, that, uh, how, uh, how, how people will be effectively criminalised, in effect criminalised, and how to penalise rural householders. But it doesn't offer enough by way of assistance and explanation. Uh, the bill needs to be redrafted, uh, focused on how we can work with people in rural areas and with rural Ireland in the spirit of partnership to improve water quality, which is very important. And of course now, because of the situation we're in, to, uh, to, comply with the, um, to comply with the EU directives, Kiongorla. Thank you.